Hi there Aries, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for January 16th to the 22nd. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. I'm going to jump straight in here by pulling you some themes and energies from the Moon Child Tarot to shape up your situation. Please do resonate it with your personal circumstances being a general reading. First one out is the Knight of Cups. Okay, it can be a Pisces energy for me. Now, the Knight of Cups is generally... Um, a new person entering your life. Now this person can bring you an offer, an invitation, a proposal. Now it's not limited to love, it can be in work career or another life area. They're bringing you something that poses your cup being full, like a shift in opportunity and happiness and satisfaction. So uh, it feels positive. Let's keep going, Aries. See what your next energy is. Okay, I have got oh the Four of Wands. Okay, um, another very, very positive energy. The Four of Wands is often a happy milestone reached. Okay, so you know, this, this invitation or proposal that the Knight is bringing you um, feels like it can you know bring you a sense of security or stability it may increase your abundance in some way whether it's an abundance of happiness or you know actual financial abundance um the four of wands you know really can um be the successful sort of achievement of that and this is also the 11 11 card so if you're seeing that number at the moment aries um there could be a um, a little bit of a synchronistic vibe to this in terms of the, you know, the time and place that you meet this person. Um, and that number is really guiding you and saying that, you know, you're on the, you know, you're on that sort of like point of change here, Aries. So, oops. So, you know, keep going, keep listening and uh, see who comes your way. Okay, let's get one more. I have got yeah, oh, the full Aries. My gosh, that is your major arcana, or one of them. The Emperor is the other one, and this is the the biggest card of fresh new starts, of new beginnings, of walking a new path. And with these cards, you know, it really feels like you're being asked to take a bit of a leap of faith on this. Um, you know, it could be a blind leap of faith. Don't get too caught up in where it's all going in the end game. This is if it feels right and it feels in alignment with your truth in your heart, then maybe you're at the gateway of your next chapter, Aries. Okay, I'm going to pull you the nine card block from the right away, Aries. But to let you know, if you do want a personal reading or healing, first link down below to my website will take you um, to where you can kind of peruse what I offer. You'll also find the link to explore the initiation, my Immersive Learn Tarot course. And that is if you want to learn how to read tarot like me, intuitively from the heart. You can also join my channel to uh, receive some pretty cool perks and show your support. I'll see you in just a moment, Aries. Okay, Aries, well, these are your cards. Very revealing. Um, so we can see there's more to the story, okay? We've got the eight, uh, nine, and ten of swords, okay? So there's also um, an element of, you know, the stress or mental overwhelm involved in this situation and moving ahead with it. And it feels like um, there is going to be an ending component as well. Like generally when, when we start a new path or a new begin beginning, we do end something, whether we end the chapter, a chapter of our lives. Like if we meet someone, we end a single period where maybe we've had like all the freedom in the world. Um, if this is in, in a new work career situation, you know, we say goodbye to a previous situation. So um, it feels like there, there is that energy here, okay? Um, I think it's a bit of a sliding doors moment where we're leaving one situation to enter another one that feels more on target in terms of our happiness, um, our goals, dreams and wishes for our lives. And sometimes that's the way it happens, Aries. So <clears throat> jumping in. Okay, Hierophant, first card. It's a Taurus energy for me. I do also have Gemini with the Knight of Swords, Pisces with the Moon, your energy, Aries, here in spades with the Queen of Wands and Sagittarius with the Knight of Wands. You might be dealing with one of those signs. So the Hierophant um, is a card of challenging traditional contexts. Now, this could be the context of 
high commitment marriage, um, work, career, education. So it feels to me that the situation involves one of those areas where you are at a point of change. Okay, it's number five. The actions that you take right now are going to determine what 10 you arrive at, right? What ending? We want 10 of cups and we want 10 of pentacles. So the Hierophant is this awakening to the fact, Aries, that things have changed within you, um, within your life, and it feels like maybe one of those higher commitments, those traditional settings, isn't really a match for the new version of you that you are in 2023. And of course, we've been through some crazy stuff in the last few years. Priorities have changed. I know that I've changed, you know, dramatically. And what was important to me pre-2020 is most definitely not so much now. Maybe you've been going through that now. And I think that your happiness can't wait, Aries. And it feels like this Knight of Cups is giving you an opportunity to move towards a happy new beginning but you need to release yourself from something first. <clears throat> the, the catch is Aries that you sort of feel stuck where you're at. The Eight of Swords is someone who's wanting to move forward but feels like their hands are tied. And, you know, in your mind, you can't make logical sense of how you would make that work. Um, the cards are telling me that you can't think your way purely through this. You have to really feel into it what feels best in your heart and your gut and you know really be guided by that i think why you can't make sense of it aries is because of the ten of swords it's like either way you slice it dice it you know you're looking at a painful ending in some respects okay leaving behind a situation that once fit you and you had some beautiful moments and memories there but you're being led and guided into a different direction. And you know what, Aries, that's okay. So we also want to be mindful not to create, um, you know, deception or betrayal by, you know, starting a new path before we've tied up loose ends, whether that's being in negotiation with a new employer, whether that's, you know, like seeing somebody else. Um, you know, there is that energy that could be here in the reading as well. And maybe that is why Nine of Swords, there's a bit of stress, well, a bit of stress. I think a lot of stress or worry hanging around this, sleepless nights and thinking, well, like, maybe you're keeping a secret, Aries. I mean, the moon is here. And it feels like it's time for you to communicate Nine of Swords to all parties involved. Of course, you've got to look out for your best interests. If this is work career, you want to make sure you've got a contract on the table before you say, bye bye to your to your employer you want to line things up for you okay so the knight of swords it is time for you to um, communicate to all parties involved and that is what's going to have things move forward quite quickly okay um with the moon though yeah i can see that there is genuine anxieties and fears paranoias around this and around the change and around hurting others and that kind of thing um, but it is time otherwise this can be chalked up as a betrayal if if it comes out and you haven't been the first one to to communicate it so that's what i'm feeling aries um that leads us to the queen of wands and she's your major arcana, sorry minor arcana and it feels to me that the ball is in your core and you're controlling this um, the Queen of Wands is you really coming back into your own and your own energy and making moves to towards the Ace of Wands, right? New potential, new growth, new passion, what lights you up, feeling like that warmth within you again. So it's about digging deep in determination to connect with that new reality that is coming through for you. Um, Knight of Wands, you know, this could be also the person that's the new person, the new messenger that has come towards you, okay? Um, the Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy, possibly you're dealing with one of those, um, comes to you in a time of your life where maybe you kind of felt like you were a little bit in the desert and that there wasn't change afoot of you. But, <clears throat> excuse me, Aries, the thing about the Knights is that they can enter your life when you least expect it. The universe knew what was expected for you, but maybe... You didn't, Aries. 
So the Knight of Wands is about getting ready to embrace this energy and embrace this change and this new beginning so that you can go on a, on a different adventure, a new journey to really explore new territory, new frontiers. And if you invest in an Eight of Pentacles, you know, you will be able to grow this, you know, right through to the Ten of Pentacles, which is a solid, stable, long-term situation that's going to give you some really important returns. So, <clears throat> Aries, let's, sorry about the, the blocked throat here. I haven't been well, but sometimes these readings, it's like, I know there's something you need to communicate, and um, I'm feeling that sort of, you know, those choked words that are, are wanting to come out or needing to come out. Okay, Aries, let's see what else we've got. Oh, Aries, that's the only thing I need. Scorpio energy, the death card. It is time for you to shed this old skin. You know, the situation is lo no longer um, a match for you. You've outgrown it or it's outdated with that version of you. So with the death card, we surrender to endings that want to take place so the sun energy can rise, a new positive beginning, healing, and new path revealed. So, you know, it feels pretty textbook here, Aries, I must say. Let's close out with a Divine Abundance Oracle card for you, Aries. Ooh, karma. Wow. There's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in a current life. Okay, so the situation that you're in, Aries, you know, you, you may have come back into it and it would have felt really perfect and right when you entered it. And that's because it was part of your life path to complete unfinished business or to learn an important lesson or soul contract that you might have started in a previous incarnation, right? But now it is actually time to address it so that you can move on, so that you can be free of it, so that you can be liberated and embrace a new journey and a new path. Aries. Well, that's what I have for you. And... I hope it resonated and reached the person, the people that it's meant for. Do keep in mind that general readings are not a personal tune-in for your situation, meaning they can't and won't resonate every time. Leave them for those that, that do. Check back in next time, see if it's your reading. Aries, I'm wishing you so much love and magic. Do take very good care. Bye for now.